Welcome back, everyone, to Vanilla Hoy 4, which is with the DLC Trial of Allegiance. I'm your host, Mr. Empire Brazil Lover. And right now, we're beating the crap out of Paraguay. We're doing all right. We've actually pushed them out into Philadelphia. Philadelphia? This ain't Pennsylvania. Rafael Franco, revolutionary Fabriasta hero. But they're going to die as we form Mercosul. Um, instead, we're going to go with Print of Strike. We tried this one last time, Provoke Argentina, but we're not going to do them yet. While the Mapuche remains behind their mountains, we, our western flank will never be fully secure as such. We must liquidate the Mapuche state and integrate its territory into our own. Really, our main goal is to uh, be at peace. Uh, eventually. Um, the art divisions, they're not very good. Uh, yeah, we're... Hmm. Not very bueno. We need to keep it up so we can at least destroy all the divisions eventually. Um, we gotta make sure they don't get any more organization. That's really the main goal of doing this right now. Strikes, if you want to read about strikes, please go ahead. Hopefully that's not going to be terrible for us. It is May of 1951? 41. Uh, help them out. Just destroyed another division, which is fantastic. Help them out. Alright, so you can't do that. You need to actually like win here. You just destroy another division, and then destroy another division, and then destroy more divisions. They only have four divisions left. Like, please. You don't have, to, don't have to win every single battle, but like, at least win the ones that you need to win. That'd be great. Uh, but with it being 1941, uh, I guess we need to probably research ships. Ships that align with what we really want here. Two divisions. One divisions. There you go. Thank God. Okay, so that, that took forever. That was kind of, honestly, kind of embarrassing. But there's only three tiles left for these guys, which would be good. And what do we have here? Address strikes crisis. Well, we did. Oh. We get... Uh, Immigration, too. Our own country has been relatively shorter from it, but everyone can see that the world around us is getting more and more radicalized. We've seen a great trickle of immigrants seeking a, a new home in the Empire of Brazil, and with the right efforts on our behalf, this could lead to great benefit for us. Very true. The Panama Push. Um, if we're to secure the continent for ourselves, we must act rapidly and overwhelm our enemies before they can respond, which is great. We get more speed and attack, uh, but that's not really why we're doing it. We want to get more benefit for us. Anti-Soviet Pact. Well, also, we did join the uh, common turn. Anti Cometer Pact, just in case. Oh, America wants to send us guns. Thank you. With the Anti Cometer Pact, the German Empire secured fertile grounds for diplomatic means of containing the Soviet menace. However, the pact does not constitute a military alliance, nor does it contain well defined obligations for signatories. Vilna II now seeks to expand the pact to an anti Soviet coalition, a binding, a binding agreement to join together in a war if any of the signatory enters into a state of war with the Soviet Union. While substantially more dangerous and likely to bring an end to any diplomacy we still have with the Soviets, this is also a chance to ensure that we have strong allies on the side on our side in the case of the war. Oh, I guess Germany is fighting. Or no, Italy's the Italian League is fighting the French faction, which America is a part of. Hmm. We'll stand by Germany that's allies against the Soviets. Well, we don't really care about the Soviets, truth be told. And we could stand a benefit from getting Spain from them, so. Oh. Well, the German Empire is fighting the Allies. Uh, when, uh, who is this? The People's Front. Oh, they're, huh? they're communist still, but they're very fascist. Uh, someone's doing something tricky there. And all of China is almost in the entire axis. Interesting. Uh, but we got bigger fish to fry right now, too. So... Uh, what do we got here? We're working on our civvies and whatnot. Working on our air. Hopefully the strikes will be pushed down. But then America do a sul, which I read last time. So you remember about that. Please go right ahead. Um, we need more political power. We really can do the domestic arms industry. The international situation is looking increasingly tense, which has led to the great arms producing nations of the world limiting their exports of equipment. We need to rapidly develop our own arms industry if we want to uh, keep our military strength at full uh, strength. Yeah. War production. The fires of war are spreading faster on the globe. Should they come to our lands, we must be able to rapidly switch our industries from producing cars and toasters to tanks and bombs. Banco de Brazil. The benefits of a central bank issuing and controlling the supply of currency to the economy has been made abundantly clear since the Great Depression. Banco de Brazil has acted as such for a long time, but it's time we formalize the agreement. Promote resource extraction. Our nation has blessed, been blessed with abundant natural resources. To promote much greater economic growth and independence, we shall invest in modern extraction equipment for industries. Should be great. Anything else here? Uh, available plans in reserve. All right, not bad. Not great. Not bad. 
I'm not sure how effective we can really be by doing this. We have only three divisions. Can we actually win here? Maybe, yeah. That would be great. Also, we did make our divisions thicker, which helped us out earlier. They're 40 combo with now. We're going to need some logistic companies. Um, so, field hospitals would be nice, but we don't actually really have to have them. I don't think they're... They're important, but they're not extremely important. No, you're not. Okay, you want to move? We'll give you a place to move. Yeah, move when you die. And with air superiority, we still can't win, huh? That's just terrible to see. Like, it makes no sense to me. Keep these guys in place. I think it's time to retire cavalry. As much as I like the cavalry, we'll need motorized really more often than anything else, probably. Why do you give up so fast? Of course, the fighting over a river, too. The organization's just terrible. Animal push is good. Uh, Medical do Sul, also very good as well. Alright, so we're done with the cavalry. Come on, come on, come on, come on, get your butts in there. There you go, that's what we wanted. Can you at least, okay, you're gonna force it now. You're gonna hold, hold, hold. Everyone else is gonna help beat the crap out of these guys. Either that or you die. You're gonna die here then. That's what you really, really want. All right, well, they forced their hand. Hello? I don't understand. What the hell is so wrong? Fighting in South America, I hate South America so much. Mud, storm, very hot. What, are you not used to the temperature down here or something? Bunch of wusses? It's like living in Texas again. Bunch of wusses live down here, apparently. That is... Incredibly stupid. These people never survive in Southeast Texas. Anyways, uh, what else we got here? Oh, Merkel Soul. South America has long been under the influence of powers beyond it, such as the U.S. or the European empires. But if the nations of the continent come together as a single economic and political bloc, no one dare interfere on a continent again. Nicaragua. More likely to accept an opinion of us is higher than 50. This is going to take a long time to get any sort of supply down here. Uh, that's the case. We're going to work on getting a lot of cast. We need more resources. Actually, we're good on resources. We need to import more stuff, though. Because your organization is what? 51. That's still not good enough. Hmm. Engineering schools? Why not? Okay, deck conversions are not bad. That's good to get. Missing a lot of Tommy guns, but that's what America's for. I just don't think they can win it down here, can they? They just immediately start losing, which makes literally no sense to me. Um, they have no manpower, don't they? Uh, 4 to 11, yeah, they've got no manpower left. I just do not understand how they're able to hold out. Why are we so garbage? Uh, we read about Defense of the Father last time, so there's that. Um, let's start coring more stuff then. Or we can promote immigration, but oh, it's only 20. Why was like Argentina like 75 then? Integrated Montevideo? Oh, heck yeah. La Paz, Santa Cruz, British Guiana, Chaco Boreal. Uh, Pasandu? Why, why would we not do that, you know? More construction speed, good. Good. Oh, look at that. America do, do Sul. Huh. And we even have, like, good radar down here, too. Obviously, I still do not understand, uh, how any of this game works. A battleship, battleship. Yeah, it is what it is back right there. We are missing quite a few guns. Machines from America do, do help out. Don't get me wrong. Uh, 
motorized would be good. Uh, do we get a bonus to... No, we don't. What do we just love with infantry? Oh, it doesn't even matter. We immediately lose all organization completely, utterly. You know what, that's the case. Keep these garbage divisions here. Let's see if they can do it by themselves. Move. Uh, I wouldn't mind going to war with some more of these guys. Um, Ecuador, Venezuela, Peru, Panama, Liberia, Ecuador, Venezuela, Peru. Can we go to war with Peru? How many divisions does Peru have? Well, if we leave, what happens? Do they start attacking our cavalry? Yeah, they will. I guess that's the only way we can do it. Okay, the game... The AI cheats. The AI cheats extremely hard. There's no way four divisions could take out two divisions when we literally have the same modifiers and where we cannot take you out. This makes no sense to me at all. Superior firepower, I guess, is just not it anymore, man. Um... So, we started using you guys, and now they're only 16 combat with, but still, that means nothing. Honestly, we're just going to switch you to motorized. Go 20. Go engineers. And that's all we can afford for now. Go there, too. It's fine. We lost 120,000, which is insanely stupid. Insanely stupid. Uh, we'll get issue world titles. Uh, Academy of Militar. Having effective weapons is not only the factor that determines the outlaws or outcome of a battle. Another huge factor is the skill of not only the individual soldier, but also that of the general commanding the troops. So we just, and we should invest in expanding the operations of the Army Department of our Military Academy. Well, let's see if we can do anything there. Guns are looking slightly better. Uh, we need tons of artillery. Building that up there, which is fine. Get another military factor here. So you're going to have to do with all this. Cavalry leader, infantry leader, trickster engineer, commando. Uh, the infantry, logistics. Suez Canal has been blown. I really wonder, can we actually hold out here? No. Uh, we're going to need these divisions up here in the north. Too. All right. Uh, immigration to Bahia? Sure, why not? Atomic research is good. Happy 1942, everybody. We're going to do whatever we can to make ourselves successful. Which is hopefully something. Better carrier holes? Sure, why not? 1942 means better guns. Yes, sir. They're really not going to attack us, huh? And they don't, it's not like they get any buffs. They have, like, nothing here. Uh, like I said, never mind. They do have quite a few buffs here. Uh... They get 25% more organization, which is insane. More division, attack, and defense. Division, defense on core territory. Armor division, defense. Artillery, attack, and defense. Holy crap. So I guess if we go down that military route, do you get a lot of buffs regardless of who you are? Increased conscription. Armor professionalism. Strength of the common soldier. The only equipment is important as anything else. As an individual soldier, defending his homeland. Protecting his core values and the fighting for his loved ones, who is the real strength of the army. That's why we must, to our fullest, to increase the morale of the common soldier. And give him the best chance of winning against the toughest battles. Yeah. My industry is okay. It's not great. The savage CIGS is pretty good. Oh, yeah. Versus mechanized troops. That's okay. You get blueprints. It's all right. Not great. Um, 1942. Plane stuff is looking decent finally for us, so I'm not super worried about that. Better artillery would be nice. Ah, good. Better. Um, you know what? Go to you. Right here. That's what it is. Amazonas. I was ill. It happens. That's okay. Anything else? No, we want better carriers other than that. Proof of close air support. Good. I 
I do wonder if we can hold out against these guys, though. That's my real question. Uh, I gotta choose somebody here eventually, so we might as well. I'm still thinking about that extra population, though. That's just propaganda. Mm. Oh, I guess we'll get the communist, uh, not communist, the coffee guy. That's what we'll choose next. Uh, we could also probably use an intelligence agency as well. So we go to war with these guys. What do we do? Okay, can we at least defend against them? You're not a lot. Of, you're literally not a lot to lose. So it's your choice: win or lose, win or die. You're gonna die either way. Twenty thousand. It's not enough. Should be okay up here. Supply's not good, but whatever. Okay, so like, seriously, our organization is like terrible. 45,000 losses? How strong is Peru? Oh, they got lots of manpower, don't they? But this will be good for grinding a lot of XP. Becoming an organizer, an infantry leader, uh, trickster engineer, commando, desert fox ranger, urban assault set specialist. All very good stuff. Oh, gee, they go right there. That'd be nice. Yeah. Rook is good. Keep working on it. All right. Metro factories. Yes, please. And get a civvy at the same time. Civvy and milli, and slowly start working on more infrastructure. Yeah. Well, this way we can start grinding out a ton of XP no matter what, and just learning experience. Uh, that's pretty good. We should probably get this one next. Established CIGS, a number of our military officers have invest, uh, urged us to invest in the establishment of a specialized training facility in the Amazon. The objective for the facility will be to prepare troops for unconventional warfare in the jungle, promoting the use of terrain as an ally during combat. That sounds pretty smart to me. Oh, that's a heavy battery. I want basic medium batteries. Yeah, probably. Yeah. There you go. Yeah, let them fiddle with us just a little bit. 1940s are not bad. Could I have hangar and armor and armor. Oh, not that's too much armor. And uh, and that one and then that one and then that one. That one, that one, that one, that one, that one. Secondary batteries for now. That's fine. Oh wait, I don't have enough. Hey, look, speak. Okay, then remove that. There you go. Oh, what? No. No, oh, you ding dong. That's what I want. But we don't have the stuff for it yet. They're still a little crazy for attacking. That's all right. I like them a little crazy. Form department. No. Jose, yes. Good. A recon, it would be nice as well. Oh, look at the LPP we got. That's pretty good. What else we got here? Uh, promote immigration from Japanese. People's Republic. Uh, oh, go to Rio. That's fine. Yeah. Mapuche State. I like as many people under us as possible, truth be told. Amateur repair is nice. Good. Towards domination of the Americas? Huh. You are going to be an infantry expert. And improvisation expert, too. Infantry specialist, not bad. Um, overwhelming fire? We'll go with overwhelming fire for this campaign, why not? Naval stuff. Anything else we could throw on our guys here? We do need cruisers. We need some of this too. Missing a couple things here and there. Just a few more artillery pieces and a few thousand more guns, but America might supply us with that, so I'm not super worried about it too much. Then again, I guess we just deploy another division, but whatever. Uh, utilize the domestic film industry, yes. In an effort to improve public opinion towards the war effort. Our propaganda ministers selected. Uh, the exceptional cinematic production, our war, sublime viewing experience with a strong patriotic sentiment for screening across the country. We have this heralds the beginning of a long and historic tradition. Uh, for our patriotic film industry, the results so far have been excellent. Ooh. Jungle pioneers. Movements. Brownwater Navy. All infantry minus river movement, attack, and fence. The rivers that weave through the jungles of South America are not being adequately utilized by our military. We shall expand our brown water fleet with a number of small river attack boats to aid in the support of our soldiers when they're far from reinforcements or supply. Do, 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 do. 
and break through more costs, that's fine. Yeah. Boop. That's six. Cool. It's kind of nice not having to work with that or have to really think about it too much. Light guns, dual purpose here. And here, well, basic stuff, very basic stuff. Go ahead. It's fine. So now we're not losing not nearly as many, and they've lost quite a few. The Panama push, which sucks for us, but whatever. Uh, more guns. Alright, you can go back on low for now. I hope they attack us again. Looks like Peru is suffering a little bit from a deficit of probably guns. I would assume. They still have quite a few divisions. Never really easily for us to attack. Wouldn't mind striking in the south, perhaps. That might prove to be the easiest route. If we can go here, that'd be great. Start going to destroy enemies. Freezer holes, yes. What do we got here? Maybe, maybe, maybe. Are you all losing here? No. Oh. Well, that would make sense to do. Still attacking us. Yeah, America, yeah, we need guns. You bet we do. Oh, and our field marshal's got some stuff here, too. All good. Be offensive. Be very offensive. Okay, they cancel the lens immediately. Interesting. Yeah. Well. Uh, of course, it is. Maybe we should research in some mountaineers. That'd probably be kind of helpful, wouldn't it? Not? Regardless of where we're at. Hey! Well, would you look at that? Groundwater Navy's good. Uh, what's this one? Tank Warfare. The best supplement to the mobile army is a unit of strong metal behemoths. With a firepower to overpower almost any foe they encounter. The only question is should our tank production be focused on the German Blitz strategy or should they work with support for infantry divisions? Good. Nice. That's one way to get rid of enemy divisions. Fantastic. Good. And they're still attacking us. Look at that. It's only one division, but still. Yeah, we're still in a giant deficit of stuff here. And we did fix our supply problem. Which is good. Or, yeah, we did. This being a defense board really helps out. Um, who do we? No, at least two divisions. That's fine. Give it to him, so I don't forget about that later on. There you go. Have fun with that. Um, sure, why not? Sao Paulo. Now, could you guys do anything here? Six divisions. Is that enough to beat these guys up? Of course, it's always more mountains, you know. Engineers, better engineers. We're always using engineers. Tank warfare. Following the recommendations, acquiring foreign designs. Though it's undoubtedly more difficult than time-consuming, it's a lot more beneficial to develop and produce tanks in our home country to ensure the quality of the product, as well as not risking our weapons deliveries being stolen before arriving. No, we lost. Crap. That's disappointing. Very disappointing. Well, that just means we need more of this then. 42, it's almost 43. Extraction would be nice. Uh, what do we got this? And once that one's done, foreign advisors. Uh, though the military instructors are good, they're not as good as those who have fought in multiple conflicts and not been, and been trained in military academies of highest prestige in other countries. Therefore, we should make an effort to attract foreign military advisors to help train our armies and the country's specialities to further strengthen our own armed forces. Of course. Good. Oh. We want our army to stand a chance against the juggernaut that is the U.S. We need to modernize it rapidly. Modify defense and armor, or defense and division organization and spirit of tanks. More armor attack and division, attacking division speed. I like the division organization speed. Oh, uh, what do we got here? Nice. Well, 
Giovanni tickle us a little bit. Interesting, interesting, interesting. Oh, hello. Would you like to tickle us as well? I fail, yes. Well, we need more steel, don't we? Hmm. That sounds like we should go to limit exports then. War industrialist. We can build things pretty darn fast with this. But like I said, coffee guy. Banco de Brazil. Of course, I do want to get these guys as fast as I can. Increased conscription is nice, but we probably do further increase uh, army professionalism. Uh, though it may be good to practice, uh, good practice to have as many soldiers as possible standing in by the way to join the army. It is, according to our foreign military advisors, much more important to make sure that the army actually performs at the top condition during any moment in time. And then, uh, Commando de Operacios Especiales. Our army, though small, could be strengthened massively by utilizing specially trained soldiers. We will excel in certain situations and battle types. Thus, establishing programs for training and harboring such soldiers should be considered our number one top priority. Okay, attack us, yes. Can do this. Five divisions, make it six. Or shall we just wait for mountaineers? We might just want to wait for mountaineers. We're still doing a okay job. Our ability to reinforce, though, is not very good. That's why we're losing. We cannot reinforce fast enough. Oh my god, this is terrible. Oh, they want to take us too, huh? Well, alright. Banco de Brazil. So, what buffs does Peru have? Anything here? Militarism, military youth. It sucks that they, not everyone in fo South America has folks you now. I can't believe we're spending this much time on South America like this, but whatever. British Malay is gone. At least. Oh, I'll go to the next two, why not? Good. We're also going to need this, yes, and then some of this, yes. Work of conditions, yes. Uh, naval AA, 8th generation chance. Don't really care about that too much, yeah. I'm limited exports. That's where it's pretty much got to be at for us. I mean, heck, they want to attack us. I mean, that's fine with me. Do it again and again and again, please. Um, what do we have here? 50. We went overwhelming breakthrough. Overwhelming fire, I think. You know, breakthrough would still be good. This one's okay. It's not, not great. Get more recon. Intelligence from combat. You know what? We could do that. They do already have recon on them, so... Hey, we're positive on artillery, finally, too. Cancel then, at least that's pretty normal from them. Basic cruiser armor scheme, good. Keep going along with that. Um, grab the engineers. Uh, Rangers would be nice. Logistics, we don't need to throw on there. Even more arty. Uh, yes. Steps from the capital. Financial stimulation. Let's see. Department of Propaganda. The world is ablaze, and despite our greatest efforts, not all in our civilian population supports the motion of war as such. We must form a department dedicated to convincing the people of the benefits of armed international struggle in Academia da Forca area. It's not only the soldiers who will find the ground forces who need to be taught properly. Our pilots, so enthusiastic, lack the professional training they need to excel in dogfights. Saw so, this, we should expand the military. Academy would include more classes catering to the Air Force. More steel. There you go. Now I've got enough. Would you actually be able to do anything here? Protect 
technically weaker overall by doing this. This is a good change or bad change? Well, so far we're winning. Alright, it was a good change. Nice. Miners would be nice, but I do want to finish the land auction first. And that last one's actually very good. Nice. Good stuff. I do 43. Where are you guys at? So hanging out, have a good old time here, hopefully. Can you win here? I have quite a few divisions. You might just be able to, maybe. Oh yeah. That's nice. That's good. Throw some radar there too, maybe, yeah. That's a lot of divisions there though. I just don't know if we can support an attack there. Good. Can we do more? Really fat Mountaineers. Um, Joint Operations Command. Now that we've developed not only our army, but also established good grounds for our Air Force, it's time to establish creating coordination and cooperation between these different army branches. As such, we'll found a Joint Operative Command, consisting of both commanders selected for both fields. That'd be nice. I'm surprised no one else has wanted to go to war with us yet, either. So. But maybe that's just me. I'll let you guys reinforce first. Land belt armor scheme, nice, good. Are we out of support equipment or something? Oh, we are. Well, would you look at that? You are deploying. And you're also deploying here too. Well, the other group in a little bit. Um, nope, we got a little bit more. That's good. Can we punch a hole anywhere else here, maybe? Yeah. I'm more interested in dropping their strength, because they can't replace strength as much. Good, you got here. I'll see both go here. You can't help out here, can you? No, you cannot. Night vision. Um, here, do that. All right, then, Punyo. Take whatever advantage we can get, maybe. Yeah. There's three divisions here. Push in. Yes. More air superiority is good. Alright, you got that. Nice. Nice. Some of these divisions are just not very good. Oh, that, that was a very good one, though. How can we win that one? I don't understand. Are they attacking up here, too? Have I been ignoring that the entire time? Probably. That's okay with me. Could you guys do this? A joint strike? Oh yeah. That'd be good. Four divisions. Uh, can all of you guys do that? 4v4 maybe? Maybe not? No? No. Alright. Uh, oh! Mountaineers move too, huh? Not exactly ideal for them to do so, but whatever. Should be okay. A even better mountain infantry, nice. The best mountain infantry. Oh, are you striking us? Huh. Well, alright. Interesting. Didn't expect that to happen. And we're losing again. What bots do they have? Prince Command, War Planning Office. We need to know now to make sure that Army can receive proper, well thought, well thought out plans and orders, as enough fall behind information war, and help it, and happen to get outdated details that led to them being ambushed and destroyed. As such, we should have found a War Planning Office to better coordinate these efforts. Hello, come on. Good. Oh, they're barely can out, huh? I keep forgetting, we gotta do the copy one. Copy is our lifeline. 
Oh, we get two Perus. Well, since we're here, I might as well do you next. I don't think we can do anything here. If anything, you're going to lead the assault. Shell the crap out of them. Oh, Ch Chile? Oh, they finally capitulated, huh? Are we actually losing down here now? Are we actually able to push in finally? Asuncion? Wow. We actually got him. That took so long. Oh, I guess we didn't get them. Oh, did they create a new VP there? Victory point? You're gonna either die or you're gonna win. And if you die, that just means we're gonna replace you. Oh, that's crap. Oh my god, how many men are we losing? How? Well, we're losing a couple divisions here. Wow. That's insane. Okay, so they're like cheating. They're literally cheating. This is extreme. Yeah, no, that's so stupid. We lost so many in that attack for nothing. I don't believe this. I'm sorry, but like this is busted. Completely busted. Unfair, unfun. Can you actually win there, maybe? Sorry, that was my phone. Uh, there's just some things in Hoi 4. I'm just like, no wonder I don't play this anymore. Or, you know, play vanilla. It's like, wow, that's why I only play, like, World Blues and Mods now. Ah. Mmm, Jungle Pioneer Training. Our recent creation of the logistics department has led to a series of discoveries. First of all, to maintain a flow of supplies, sufficient amount of proper equipment and supplies need to be made, and a current material isn't cutting it. We need modernizer for support equipment if we wish to keep up with the competitors. Nice. Nice. Yeah. Hello. Alright, that's it. You're dying. Or we're dying. Someone's dying here. Oh, it's not us. Can't force the attack. Make sure bridges? Sure, why not? No, you're gonna help out. You're gonna help kill them off. You're gonna make sure they have no more manpower. I'm gonna grab that next. Yes. This is incredibly stupid. This is stupid. This should not have any sort of you know, victory points. Making having giving every single tile victory points is insanely stupid in my opinion. Basically, every single one has one. Like Fortress Humata. Pff, come on. Or the Dev Sinking. Death charge throwers. Happy 1944. Oh. Nice. Oh god. That might complicate things for us a little bit. H Hello? No, you're all gonna be here. You're all gonna be here. You're gonna continue doing what you're doing, because you're doing it very well. Or you're gonna die, either one of those two. I don't really care. You're not letting him do that. Come on. They've got to be out of manpower at this point. No? Yeah, they yeah, like to cheat hard. They like to cheat very, very hard. It's, it's ridiculous. Yeah, that's done. Now can we take out Chile? Or can we take these guys out? Because obviously this the, the game is screwed. Like it's it's literally like terrible at this point if we can't take this, these guys out. It makes no sense. This is incredibly stupid. They have so many things unlocked. This should not be a VP. I completely disagree with the developers here about this. Completely. We do want to throw in rangers here, too. I 
All right, so what's going on in Europe? Oh, let's just go and core everything here too. All right, so they're fighting these guys. Interesting. Austria, huh? Well, Gears are kind of weird. Italian league. Uh, infantry, that's not bad. All right, what else do we have here? Eagle pioneer training, air defenses. Uh, Marines. Paratroopers. Well, special forces don't come back. Uh, apply. I think we're gonna go with Corpo de Fuzeros Navais. As a, as the navy is one of our strongest points, it will be more than beneficial to utilize pack and allow them to possess their own military branch, consisting of grueling training and extremely effective marines. Give me a huh? Oh, and then they're too over that. Nice. Good for them. So how close are we to getting the technology done? Frankly, we lose you. I really don't care. Hello. We can't even like go in there. That's stupid. Who designed this? Level five forts. Are you kidding me? Look, I I said force the attack. I didn't say stop. If all the horses die there, I don't care. My god. Alright, I'm done. I am completely done with this. Um, five divisions. That's all I'm going to leave them. You are completely under someone else. You're going to come here, and we're going to de defeat these guys. Screw it, this is stupid. This is incredibly stupid. Whoever designed this needs to like leave, lose their job. This is stupid. So stupid, it's not funny. Like, it makes no sense. Paraguay is not this strong. Just randomly giving them buffs for no reason makes literally no sense. They should have some buffs. But this is just, just so stupid. It's not fun. You do this. There you go. Uh, let's finally get the coffee stuff. Issue royal titles. As we begin to take control of a rightful domain, the burden of control in the diverse regions is becoming a burden for a dear monarch. It is therefore proclaimed that new landed royal titles should be issued to those deemed trustworthy to aid in the governance of the kingdom. Uh, Marines, yeah, that'd be good. Why can't we do this? Oh, I was looking at the air XP, my bad. That's my fault for that. Come on, are you going to attack us or what? Scare our borders. Nice. So how many buffs does this nation random, randomly get? Monroe. Yeah, basically, stability is pretty good. Uh, cavalry, attack, defense. Cavalry attacking defense from organization. Giant economy, Mapuche nationalism. Uh, Ejusito. Wow. We don't get anything like that, do we? We get a little bit, but not very much. Use more fighters. 1944. Well, looks like they got enemies to take care of here. Yeah, why is this so much easier than the other nation? I do not understand. Hey, I'm stuck with them. That's good. I don't have enough air superiority here. That makes no sense. Yeah, it's mountains. What do you expect? Restore the coffee barons. The so called coffee barons were instrumental in helping us gain enough support to restore the monarchy. Now we shall reward them by bringing them into government to oversee the reconstruction of the economy. Yeah, why not? There you go. Hello? I don't remember telling you to do that, but okay. Go ahead. Let's 
So how much sound it? Well, it looks like we're going to need an evil invade then. Alright, gonna waste our time. Why are you still attacking? I said stop. Makes no sense sometimes, man. That. Um, we just focus on the one area here. Two, three. Go repair. Do that. That'll be good. Give him one more. Take a couple days to do that, but I should be okay. You know what? You're naval invading. We just made marines. I can convert half of them to marine divisions, even though it's not very good. And marines, yeah, they're not very good, but it, it'll have to be what it'll have to be. Uh, no, I don't want that. There you go. And there you go, too. Cannons, sure. Where are our ships? Hello? Come on, let's repair. That's why we want a fast repair. Let's get you guys out of here. Wait, they took back a tile. How and why? You know, I'm tired of the game just giving them free stuff. And then circle us. I'm, okay, I'm going to be done with this. I'm completely done with this. Uh, Imperial development. Economic development may be spread across out the nation so that all may reap the reward of their hard work. We therefore need to diversify not only the commodities of our industry, but their locations too, and establish new capital. Our current capital is too distant from remote regions of the country, and this leads to resentment and separatism. To have the best of both worlds, we shall establish new capital in the heart of the nation where more accessible to all. And here we're at. I'll be honest, I, I got tired of this. I am sick and tired of the AI just cheating constantly. So I just should have annexed them. I got rid of their divisions. I mean, I can't do this if... I mean, this tile? This is stupid. This is so stupid. How did we start with 55% resistance? Plus 50% river navy? That makes no sense. I just don't understand a lot of this anymore, apparently. That's why I don't like playing vanilla a lot anymore. Um, it's just... I don't understand this anymore. I mean, we have the benefits, like, so, like uh, some of the enemies we fought, like Paraguay, but... We're getting penalized for things we don't have any reason to get penalized over. River Navy, huh? They're the biggest River Navy of any country, delaying or even preventing enemy incursions. Well, it does not hold a Canada ocean-going navy, so it gets a key in keeping the country safe. What? Neglected state. I hate South America. I hate South America so much. It's not funny. Also, we did uh, land here, which is great. Um, we're trying to cut these guys off, but it's not going so great because I just I really I I don't, I don't know. At this point, I think I'm done with vanilla. This is my last campaign in vanilla, for hopefully for a while, because I just can't take this anymore. Like it doesn't make any sense why we're doing so poorly. You no. Know? Oh, I guess they, they did form an alliance with uh, I think Ecuador. We're at war with Ecuador as well, so. Um, but yeah, I'm done. And we should have air superiority up here, at the very least. How do we not have air superiority? We need more fighters, probably. But even then, if it wasn't this, it, even over here in Gran Chaco, we had air superiority, and it still did literally nothing. Literally nothing. So, the game's bugged to hell and back, but whatever. You know, it's paradox for you. Mm, you're gonna win. Let's see... River crossing penalty, no problems. I wanna do that, that's fine. Alright, help them out. Kill them off. We got the port here for a reason. Good. And come on. Beat them up. So at least that's good. Something positive came out of this. 
Uh, for now, you're an infantry leader, but you got way more attack. So now it's probably going to turn all into the same problem down here, too, probably. There you go. Aku in Romania. Alright. Tons of political power. And we get Paraguay, Antofagasta. Yeah, I just. I'm not going to tolerate just AI cheating, so. Just randomly. It's not fun. Expand Escuela Nova. Simply producing and maintaining ships is not enough to constitute a new navy. We require officers and specialists who are highly trained in how to utilize naval assets in the battle. Therefore, we should establish a Sol Americano Naval Academy to train the next generation of naval officers. Even with these horses, they're not that great. They still do okay compared to what we've been trying to you know, BS our way through so far in this campaign. This Bulgaria. Like, even, look, at, look at that! I mean, Jesus Christ. Why is it so difficult sometimes? It makes literally no sense. I mean, look at this. This is ridiculously stupid. Some areas we can do incredibly well, and other areas we're just like... We can't do anything. We can't do anything right. Uh, you know what? I'm actually going to keep you guys here. I'm going to have you guys naval invade again. Uh, with that much naval XP, uh, I'm not going to burn the marines just yet. Why is this costing us five? Hello? Okay, so the game is literally bugged. It's literally bugged right... Hello? What the hell is going on? So, uh, it looks like my version of the game is bugged now. Not good. Uh, I apologize for being negative, but this is... This is kind of sad. From Paradox. Jungle Pioneer Companies, huh? River, forest, jungles. You know what? We never use something like this. Let's use them. You know what? Rangers too, why not? Can we... We can't even take. A... No, come on. All right, so we only have three of them. It's fine for now. Purple radios, cool. You three are going to be from here to the port, and you're going to be the supporting ones invading south of the port. Let's see what you can do about that. Uh, in the meantime, we're also going to, going to grab better marines, which we already are, and we're output. Use more military factories too. Boom, boom. So uh, the game likes to cheat. I just don't understand this at all. I really don't. Uh, looks like we can use a touch more air or uh, steel. What the? No, come on. Are you kidding me? No. No. Bro. Yeah, that's why I hate the South America. Well, I guess you're going in no matter what. Go. Large cannons. Philippines be called in. I don't. I hate these global conflicts. The Holy Forge is not built for this. It really is not. That kind of kills my campaign, honestly. I want to do it without any outside influence. How are you able to treat enforced defense? See, that's the AI cheating here. Valparaiso. The secretary is gone. And we have access. That'd be good. Now, stop it, you bunch of animals. Hello? I told you all to go this direction, did I not? Um, 
construct new naval bases? Our naval facilities are antiquated and in need of desperate modernization. By investing in such facilities, we'll be able to construct and support much more capable naval assets. Kind of bite them in. Let's see what we can do about that. Now I shot down arrow. Yeah, I'm sorry, but the AI cheats so hard, it's not funny. Still can't win, even though we have a uh, player of the Not a player of but uh, air superiority. Makes no sense. Hello? We're taking everything. Screw you guys. Alright, so interview all those guys. That'd be good. Uh, rejoin integration and invite German ambassadors. Sure. Ah, oh, Argentina rejects us. Look at that. I want to make sure that we get to here, and then here, all the way up to there. Air base, yes, and radar as well. I'll give that one instead if you need to. Uh, despite much negotiating and consultation, the government of Argentina has rejected membership of the Marcel, or Marcosol, despite the promises of peace and prosperity. They seem unconvinced of the viability of their organization, so going as far to claim it was a way for us to control them via the back door, which is utterly ludicrous. How's the rest of the world looking? Germany's looking all right. Um, Poland's done very well. Uh, they've done very well. The Fourth International's done well. They like traded spots here. They pushed further in the northern part of Russia, and they lost the southern part of the Balkans. Fourth International's doing okay. Uh, the Germans are doing quite well through, through China here too, huh? Uh, Marines. Let's see. We're using both here. Combo both goes down more defense. There's more soft attack. Yeah, I like soft attack. Uh, you know what? Naval's pioneers. Naval invasion capacity. Sure, why not? Another division. Nice. There you go. Pakistan. Okay, then. Brute anti air. Burma. Bangladesh. Major improvements. India. India, of course. Soviet Greece was puppeted, huh? Huh. Interesting defense, let me grab them anyways. I don't think we're going to be able to do very well here. Oh, wait. Do you not have a war goal against them? What the heck? Why don't we have a war goal against them? Did that thing expire? Provoke Argentina. Support the Marines. In order for Marines to function at full capacity and effectiveness, we should consider developing uh, technologies that support them, such as landing vehicles and better supply distribution techniques for when landing on shores. Venture stimulation. We've laid the cornerstones of a strong economy in recent years with the establishment of new industries and infrastructure projects to maintain growth. We need only to pull the levers of the central bank and national industries. Oops. You know what? I guess I didn't get the guy that I really wanted there, huh? What? This is bugged. This has to be bugged. I thought we get Colombia for free, basically. Because of... Come on. The push for Panama. Panama push. That makes no sense. Why would you get... Do we have Panamas? Yeah, we do have Panamas. How do you get to Panama without going through Colombia? Who designed this? <sighs> am, I am I going crazy? Like, why? Why would you have it like this? So let me tell you to go to this side, maybe. But even then, supply is gonna... There's no supply here. There you go. 
going, so we're building that up. Uh, these two are more important. Um, with that in mind, foreign influence, region wide integration, sure. Bangladesh is gone. Uh, I guess buy two more, maybe? Perhaps? Machine instant decryption. Support for the Marines. Um, We also got some landing crafts, that's good. Invest in railways. Trains remain the most economic method of mass transportation of people and goods over great distances. We should therefore invest in expanding, modernizing a railway network as developing trains of our own. Nice. She insisted. Well, at least we have a port here, that's good at least. Could we win here? Well, let's see first. If we do that, do they attack us? No. If we attack them, could we do that? Maybe. And the southern portion, maybe. Maybe not. So you're gonna stop wasting lives. Hello? What are you... Well, we're doing it manually then. Do we have any air bases up here? by Colombian posturing, good. At least that's good. Western Railways is good. National Petroleum Council. From the tractors in the fields to the battleships defending our shores always become the lifeblood of modern machines. Being reliant on such a crucial resource is a threat to our national security. To alleviate this risk, we shall establish the National Petroleum Council to oversee the discovery and extraction of domestic oil. You No, you're not allowed to lose. No, you have to go in and win. And we have green air, too. I think with the update uh, to the mo to Hawaii 4, they opened up the combo with the 80. I think I could be wrong about that. That seems what I read in uh, the old World Blues uh, Reddit subreddit. Um, so it's just kind of pisses me off here. I mean, look at this. We should easily be winning here. So much reason Mountaineers. Thirty thousand versus twenty-six thousand. Yeah, this is stupid. This is one of the dumbest things I've ever seen ever. My God. Yeah. No. It's a lot less fun now. Here, one more breakthrough, maybe. Which reduces the amount of damage you take. Spy's looking up decent though. What the frick is going on here? We were just about to win and then we lose. Who designed this? Who the hell designed this? Seriously. What? Let's get our spies back at least. So you know what? I'm going to keep going on with one more episode after this. It's 1945. We're struggling like hell trying to break into here. But I'm going to end it here because this is pissing me off too much. Yeah, the devs have definitely screwed up, you know, the combat with and meta and whatnot of trying to succeed. So I will come back and we'll come back to this tomorrow. And then uh, we'll see what happens as we're struggling against Venezuela for literally no reason because uh, the devs just want to screw us over. So if you enjoyed the video, though, please consider leaving a like. Subscribe if you're new. Check out my Discord link in the description below. And I'll see you tomorrow as we're going to continue struggling through the rest of South America. Thanks for watching. Have a great rest of your day.